Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kingdom Mod Let's Play for Mountain Blade Warband. Now, it hasn't been very long between the end of last episode and this one. Normally I record for, or excuse me, normally I play for uh, a couple of days off camera, just to speed things along, build our army back up and whatnot. Um, and I didn't really get much of an opportunity to do that this time. Uh, I did manage to fill our party back up with some recruits and level up a few here and there. Uh, I also defeated a... Uh, Kirgit Lord right before we started this. Um, he only had about 45 men in his party. I don't know what he was trying to do taking this castle. but um, So he was defeated. However, as soon as uh, I finished that battle, a bunch of Swadians swooped in. And so I figured we may as well fight this one on camera because this is kind of sketchy. Um, they are currently led by Count Clace, who... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to talk to, um, I mean, I can talk to him, but I can't discuss anything in private with him because he's got these lords with him. Uh, Regis is with him as well, who's a bit of a friend of ours, but again, not going to be able to talk to him in private. So they've got, uh, I would say a little over 300 men here, I think. And, uh, I've only got 116. However, there are two lords in the castle, so I'm going to try to... Uh, get them both to follow me, and hopefully I can get them to come outside long enough for us to initiate the battle and have them join it. Their numbers should be enough to help me overcome these guys, because if you look at their armies, um, they're they're pretty crap. They have numbers, but like this army, this army here is half militia, uh, and the the other major chunk is recruits. So like almost 90 men in this army are basically like first tier units. Uh, this one, they've got a bunch of footmen and archers, which are uh, really, really low tier, and then 41 militia. So yeah, none of these armies is particularly good, but if you throw enough militia at me, uh, eventually you're going to overwhelm me, so uh, that's my concern there. Also, uh, as soon as they rolled up, Veluca came under siege, so we need to defeat these guys and then hustle on over there to defend Veluca. Uh, speaking of Veluca, word of our victory there has... Uh, reached pretty much all of Calradia, and uh, a knight has offered to join us uh, because of our great victory. So we've been joined by Sir William the Bold. Uh, let me give you a look at his actual face since his... Oh, it's not going to show up. All right, uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to have to take it off then. Um, I was hoping to show you his face, but uh, there we go. Here, let's, uh, let's do that. So there's Sir William the Bold. I'll give him his helmet back now. And, uh, yeah, so he's going to be joining us along with um, Sir Aster the Maid. And actually, Sir Aster's in my, um, my retinue. Sir William's going to stay with the cavalry for now. I might move him to my retinue as well. Um, just depends on how many things I feel like micromanaging. So let's try to dart into the castle. I'd rather fight this one out in the open because we should have a cavalry advantage. Let's go talk to these slackers. Let's see. Lord Place. I have a task for you. I need you to follow me. Don't you tell me that. Uh, will you follow me? Uh, of course. Uh, fine. Starting a campaign. Gather the forces. And we'll see if they come out. I can't wait for him for very long. Damn it. I might have to fight this one on my own. This is going to be ugly. Uh, so they've got, what, 10 cav in Regis' army. Uh, you only have 9 cavalry here. And you have 11. They only slightly outnumber me in terms of cavalry. Uh, but in terms of overall numbers, obviously, they've got a pretty large advantage. So... Based on terrain, we might be able to win this. It's just, I can't sit here and wait, because all the while I'm waiting, Veluca is being taken. So, I have to decide this battle now. And, I guess, three on one, we're going to have to do it. So, Count Clace, let's talk to you first. Uh, not so great to see you, unfortunately. Uh, this is our father-in-law, by the way, if you're joining us late. So, um, 
I wish I could make peace through him, but the, the king won't hear anything of it. And uh, he can't do anything, so yeah. All right, well, surrender or die. You're the one attacking me, so here we go. 106 against 322. Okay, so we're going to need to take a hill as soon as possible. Of course, it started us in a really crap position. But if we can maybe take this hill, uh, I think we'll be all right. Okay, so we've gotten a decent position here. Uh, certainly could have done better, but it's going to have to do. I'm actually going to try to move my archers up here. I think that's a better spot for them. And we'll see what they decide to do. They're seemingly pretty reluctant to charge us. And uh, I'm kind of glad for that. I'm going to move the infantry up a bit to, let's say, here. We're getting some kills. Uh, as soon as these guys get set up, they'll probably start getting a few more. Alright, here comes their cavalry. I'm going to send mine. And infantry, just hold your ground. Now you can charge. And they should be able to swarm those guys. Oh, I was late. I didn't think he was going to stop so soon. Uh, I didn't see anything. There we go, there's one. Ah, he got his horse. There we go. Uh, so far, so good. We just need to make sure we don't get too carried away here. We don't want to go pursuing them and run into their reinforcements, so we need to kind of kill this wave and then reform our lines as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, that's what I didn't want. So cavalry, come back. Infantry form up right here. Let's get the cavalry over there, maybe. Uh, we're gonna lose a couple. They've got, they've gotten surrounded. But I need to draw them out. I don't want to fight them when they're all clustered like that. Is that Clovis? I think that's Clovis. I don't know who that is. It might just be a regular, regular old knight. All right, infantry go. Cavalry go. We're going to attack at the same time. I don't know where the hell you're going, but you're going the wrong way. I guess they're fighting over here. Man. Direct hit with the lance and didn't kill him. Let's go back for him. Oh, somebody else got him. Quit blocking my way. Uh, we're going to need to deal with these archers eventually. Okay, we've pushed up the hill here, and have killed just about all the archers that they had deployed. So I think we're just going to stay here since we have all of our men sort of in this position. Uh, there's no point in reforming since everybody's here anyways, but I will try to move our archers up so that they can continue to help us out. So archers, start moving here. I'm going to put you in a better spot as soon as I get a better view of what's happening, but I just need to keep them moving in the meantime. Uh, we need to watch out for... Was that it? There's no way that was it. Unless one of them didn't join. We only took one casualty there. They didn't fight that well at all. No, they all joined. Interesting. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. I guess they just ran out of waves or something. Let's see. This map is a little bit more... Uh, cavalry friendly, although not much. Alright, so we've got them right where we want them. They're kind of stuck down here at the base of this hill. It looks like they're trying to work their way up, though. So they might be able to shift out of the way in time. 
Um, I'm setting up my infantry right here to go attack them that way. Cavalry is going to hit them from the low ground. And the archers are going to sit right where I am and rain arrows on them. Uh, infantry, I need you to move up a little bit more than that. Let's get you like here. But the infantry deal with the uh, rough terrain a little bit better than the cavalry do. And they're smaller targets, so we're going to make them do the uh, tough job going through here. Cavalry is going to just swing around the side and hit them. Where is my little cursor thing? I think that's right. Let's see. Yeah, I want them right in that little valley there. I don't have very many archers. I should probably uh, hold back some cavalry, maybe some infantry. I don't know. We just we need more archers. They don't put enough shots down range with only like six of them there. All right, infantry go. Cavalry start moving up. And I want you guys to get there at roughly the same time. I don't know how well that's going to work. I guess go ahead and charge. Because they're already sort of engaged. And I'm going to help out down here. Hopefully they slaughter him fairly quickly. I don't know who that was. I thought it was one of the lords, but I didn't see a name. All I saw was regular swatting troops go down. We do need to be careful about where they're going to reinforce from. We don't want to be caught right in the middle of them spawning. But given that they're probably only going to have militia left at this point, uh, we may as well just kind of let the slaughter continue. Oh man. That terrain didn't even swing high. Keep just clipping them and somebody else keeps getting the kill. There we go. Oh, can I get him? No. Nope. There we go. And is that it? That is it. And that was all of them that time. No casualties. And they really still have 21 left. Alright, I'm going to mop them up real quick. Alright, not a single casualty there either. That, my friends, is the difference between a small elite army and a large uh, crappy army. Uh, I really doubt that their militia could even put a scratch on us, uh, because all of our knights in full plate have at least a 65 armor rating, uh, and if they're swinging like clubs and stuff at us, it is not even going to, you know, deal a single hit point worth of damage. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Count Clace, I'm of course going to let you go. Hopefully next time we see you, I can have a chance to recruit you again. So we're up to 28 with him now. Uh, and we captured a bunch of prisoners. I'll take the cavalry. Not going to be a whole lot here that we can uh, sell. Because, again, it's all pretty much garbage. Uh, get rid of them, and I'll take the infantry instead. They're a little bit more valuable. And let's get our guys upgraded here. Let's see, what do the Desert Guards look like? Right, they've got like big maces or something. So we're up to 25 knights now. We're trying to get up to 25 Calradian knights so that I can stash the Swadians in uh, one of our garrisons. We're, we're working on it. Uh, I've got two men-at-arms. Give me a couple more. Let's see. Uh, that's good enough for now. And I'll get you guys upgraded there. Um, let's see, more footmen. You guys just stay where you are. And you can upgrade to... Here, this is the top tier desert, uh, Calradian desert archer. Um, they're super accurate. I think they have shorter 
bows? I don't think they're using long bows like the Calradians do. Yeah, you'd probably see him with it. Uh, I think he's got like a shorter composite bow that shoots a lot faster. It uh, doesn't quite do as much damage though. All right, let's handle some uh, level ups here. So Clovis, let's see your skills. Uh, we're going to get you to agility 12 so that we can go weapon master 4. And uh, we'll keep doing one-handed skill. That's fine by me. Looks like uh, more of these guys have leveled up. The hammermen are still using the shorter hammers, though. I don't know why that is. I'm going to have to go back into the game files and figure out why they're not updating to the new uh, hammers that I gave them. Because I'd rather them have the... Like, basically the same hammer that I'm using, or there's another one that's similar. Uh, it's more of a polearm that they can use as either, like, a spear or a hammer. Uh, again, it's exactly like the one I have. Uh, whereas the hammer that they've got now is, like, a sledgehammer. They can swing it, and that's about it. Uh, it hits pretty hard, but it, it's not a very versatile weapon, and it's also really short, so it's not a very practical weapon. Um, it, it's good for, like, a player character as a backup, but uh, for... A full like tier of units it's not the best thing uh, they're still pretty effective though I've been surprised at how good they are but we could definitely um, make them a little bit better I'm gonna go one two three four and three okay and then I believe uh, Frederick leveled up as well no I didn't okay I thought I did Anyway, we've got to go rescue Veluca, so let's uh, hustle on over there. Okay, so they've all immediately run off as soon as I got here. Uh, apparently, even between the three of them, they don't think they can take me. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, first thing, I'm going to stop off in Veluca so that I can unload a bunch of our equipment here. Oh, I've already filled this place. Um, oh, good, the horse merchant's got plenty of room. I could use some food, too. We're getting a bit low. Let's unload all of this. Is this better than anything anyone's currently wearing? I don't know that it is. Uh, it's another horse. I might hold on to it. Try not to keep my inventory like super full, but every time I pick up a horse, I try to keep it. Um, in this case, it's sway back, so if it doesn't heal within a certain amount of time, I might just ditch it. So we're going to try to run these guys down. I need to get them separate, though, because I'd rather fight them individually. They'll be easier battles that way. Also, I have the opportunity to try to recruit them before we fight. So I think that's the best way to go about it. Uh, and Sure enough, they ditch him as bait. They're probably going to go raid a village or something, or they might just go right back to Veluca. Are we not going to catch you before you get to Grunwalder? No, we're not. All right, turn around. To make sure they don't take the castle. Whoa, a lot of stuff just happened right there, and I didn't quite see who is running where. Oh, good. Uh, Freaking accompanied me. All right, well, we got to run these guys off. Vagirs and the Kirkit Kane have made peace. Uh, I can get Talbar probably. Definitely. Um, 2.6, 2.4. How fast am I going? Well, it doesn't matter now. I already caught him. Unfortunately, I won't be able to talk to him, uh, but we have really good relations with him because we are both um, very honorable, and I've also let him go after a few victories against him. Ah, yeah, and he's even more thankful toward me for it. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Well, then, surrender or die, my friend. This is going to be a much easier battle. Uh, again, they're going to throw a bunch of trash troops at us, and this time they don't even have cavalry because they're Rodox. So this is going to be really ugly for them. Alright, so I've not even bothered to uh, set up formations here. I'm just going to let my knights charge directly in and we'll see what they can do. I'm not too concerned about casualties here. I feel like we've gotten more than lucky lately with casualties. So uh, if we take a few here, I'm not super worried about it. I think I need some more power strike, because my sword feels like it hasn't been hit as hard lately. Like, I've been squaring up some pretty decent shots, and they just kind of bounce off. That was a miss. Ah, you 
bastard. Okay, let's bring it around. I'll get you before you shoot anybody. See, 46 damage, and I didn't put him down. That was a miss. 39 damage. And for some reason, I'm getting a negative speed bonus. Which is kind of odd, because I am on horseback, and I am moving in a pretty good clip. So, uh... I'm not sure how that's getting figured, but, uh... I'm sure it's definitely not helping. I mean, I know it's not helping. Gotta look chaos. Whatever. We've got cavalry, so chaos is, uh... in our favor. Thing, too, is we caught them before they could really set up and bunch up. Which is pretty much the only chance they ever had. And even then, probably would not... In the hands of a player... Like, I, I could win this battle with their army against mine. But the AI is never going to win that battle. All you, all you have to do is tell your guys to get their spears out, bunch up real tight, let the cavalry come. But the AI just can't figure that one out, so... We get another slaughter. I don't think we took any. Oh, we had two wounds, but they're both named characters. And, oh, we got more, 38 more to deal with. All right, I'll clean this up real quick. Okay, so no casualties there. Uh, I almost ended up the only casualty of that one. Uh, one of my knights, after charging in, decided to peel out in front of me and uh, slowed me down as I was going in for my charge. And uh, I almost ate the business end of a pike thanks to him, but uh, luckily I was able to move out of the way at the last second. Uh, so, let's see. Talbar escapes. Falsivor does not. Uh, I'm going to let him go. Our relations are neutral with him, and we should be able to get those positive enough to recruit him eventually. So, you're free to go. Enjoy. Enjoy your freedom. Uh, I don't need farmers or peasant women, and my prisoner inventory is full. Oh, three knights. Wow. Our party just continues to get more and more overpowered. Sharpshooter, uh, you'll probably sell for more than some of these guys. Let's see. Footman, yeah, you can go free and I'll take the sharpshooter instead. <clears throat> and we got a bunch more loot. Luckily, we made room. We'll grab everything that we can carry here, which is going to be not as much as uh, what's still left here, but at least we've got all the important stuff. And looks like we got two level ups there. So Victor is now level 13 and Sir Aster is now level 9. Let's go handle that. Uh, looks like they're both pretty wounded. So let's see. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure with him. He is uh, based on... Well, not based on. The original character that was made into Victor is uh, Borka or Borcha. So um, he's, he's sort of a tracker and I thinking I should maybe continue him along that line so I'm gonna give him some intelligence and we'll put a point into tracking and there's no point giving him in the in inventory management because that's a leader skill riding athletics um, I think I'll put a point into power strike and then next level up I'll give him uh, the fourth point into spotting, and that'll max it out. Meanwhile, uh, let's throw some points into pole arms because he he has a spear and a lance, so he uses a pole arm quite often. And then uh, with Sir Aster, uh, we're going intelligence. Actually, let's go agility with him, and that'll unlock. Uh, actually, that won't because he was already at Weapon Master three. Um, in that case. Let's go with, hmm, maybe some pathfinding. That would definitely help us. Uh, tactics would definitely help us. I could make him a better rider so I can put him on better horses, but I can't, I mean, I don't want to buy him better horses. Uh, maybe loot one, but for now I'm not super worried about it. So let's go with um, tactics. And we'll give him a little bit more polearm skill as well as uh, some one-handed skill. And then let's see, some desert infantry is ready to become desert guards. Uh, desert archers, desert marksmen, Calradian archers into bowmen. 
Uh, give me more archers. We need more archers on the battlefield. Okay. So those guys have been handled. Uh, I'm wondering, since nothing is currently burning down, if I have the opportunity to maybe go after a castle real quick. Uh, we know Ergolon has a fairly small garrison, so we should be able to do it fairly quickly. Uh, the only thing that will slow us down is building the siege equipment. But I think we can pull it off fairly quickly. We did just defeat a lot of lords, so... Uh, all of these factions should be uh, reeling a little bit from that. Let's head that way. If anything pops up, we'll go deal with it. But uh, for now, I think we're going to try to go on the offensive. See how far we get. Well, we made it there. That's a small band of enemies spotted near Veluca. It's going to come under siege in a second. Let's get these guys leveled up. Uh, how many men at arms do I have? Only one. Let's get another one in there. More hammers. Uh, give me some footmen there. Okay. I'm concerned because this still says it's under siege. And I know it says that because it was just under siege, but it could still be under siege, and I won't know. So I'm just going to go for this. It's got 103 men defending it, so this should be no problem for us at all. Um, it looks like most of the garrison is like low tier cross wait no low tier spearmen which should make this really easy for us even easier than if they were crossbowmen so uh let's go ahead and besiege this thing okay uh we're all set up let's go ahead and uh lead our soldiers in the assault i've of course forgotten to uh swap out my lance but uh, I've come to just kind of accept that at this point, so let's go ahead and jump in. I've still got my uh, sword and my hammer, so that should be enough. I always like to bring the Morningstar along, though, too, because that is a very, very effective close quarters weapon. Uh, whereas this uh, Warhammer here can get a little bit tricky when we get too close to the enemy. Uh, it needs a little bit of uh, space to clear some elbow room. I don't know why I'm blocking. I don't have a shield out. Oh, look at you. Come on, overhand. Overhand. Stop Stop trying to thrust. Yeah, that's the other problem. Is thrusting with this thing is kind of useless. Oh, well, got somebody with it there. So in close confines, it's going to get blocked every time. So uh, if I'm not swinging overhand, I may as well not be using this weapon. Block me, you idiot. Who are you? I wonder if that's a lord. Not wearing typical uh, Rodox armor there, but he could just be uh, like a holdover from a different faction or something. Finish him! And somebody else got him. Alright, I'm gonna go clear these crossbowmen out because they're getting some kills here. Shooting into our backs and whatnot. Killing my hammermen. I need those hammermen. I can't see anything. Uh, is that Sir Aster? No, it's just a regular knight. There we go. You know what? Let's first person this because I can't see in third. Nope. Gotcha. Got you. Alright, we're all done up here. I guess we can go that way. Uh, we're taking some casualties. Mostly it's just the crossbowmen that are hanging out on the fringes of the battle shooting into the group over there. Oh, don't go down, Mr. Knight. I need your backup. I'm kind of the one backing you up, to be honest. Uh, I was hoping I could one-shot him in the head there. Okay. We got rid of them. There's no way up that way, so I guess we're going this way. Oh, and I didn't even make it over there. We've already won. So that's the end of that. Um, took quite a few casualties there. Four dead, 16 wounded. It's actually not that bad. Um, what did we actually lose? So two hammermen. That kind of sucks. Uh, none of our knights were actually killed. Just a few wounded. We lost some infantry. Not a big deal. And one longbowman. 
Um, but we obviously slaughtered them. It looks like... Oh, that's funny. So the casualties were dead even. But we wounded quite a few of them with those hammers. Um, again, I don't have any room for the prisoners, which sucks. So let's see. Let's get these guys leveled up. Apparently all my hammermen have leveled up to the point where I don't have any left. Uh, I'll take the recruit because I can level them up into my Calradian troops. I don't think I want the Swadian troops though. I'll take the broken men instead and I can just dump them in the garrison somewhere. And uh, I'm wondering if... I'll just leave him. You know what? No. I got one slot. I'll take him. Okay. Uh, some more loot. I don't think we have room for any of this, uh, but we will make room because some of it's better than what we have. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and defer appointment uh, so that we get a nice little free garrison there. And then, uh, of course, I don't want to hold this for myself. Uh, instead, I'm going to use it as bait for uh, lords to come join our faction. Okay, um, so how big is the garrison here? 35. That's not too bad. Let's hustle back to... Uh, what are you trying to do, Barans? I'm actually going to tell Fraken to go home. Uh, yeah. Get out of here. Go rebuild your army. I'm surprised he actually showed up. I think Barans is going to try to take Ergolon Castle, so we're going to have to uh, keep an eye on that. Let's head to Veluca, though, and we will unload our wares in the horse merchant here. Okay, so unfortunately there wasn't a ransom broker there, so uh, we'll have to head elsewhere if we want to get rid of all these prisoners. Uh, the only other place that's really even a viable option is Yellen, because we can't head into... I mean, we could try for, like, this town here, but anything else I think is going to be too far. So yeah, let's head back this way. It's only a matter of time until these two both come under attack again anyways. Um, but actually, while I'm here... You guys can have all of these broken men. Not that it's going to make that much of a difference. Let's see. Caravan guard. I have nine knights. You know what? I will trade you nine knights for... Hold on. I just want to get this organized. Uh, nine knights for nine militia. And I'll train them up to... I mean, not necessarily knights, but to something... So, yeah, give me more men at arms then, because we're going to need to replace those guys. Okay. And so what's the garrison looking like here now? 39. That's still not great. Still not great, but it's better than nothing. You bastard. Immediately going for Veluca as soon as I turn around. He's too fast, though. I'll never catch him. And maybe I will. He's kind of an idiot. Yeah, so this dead end ran him... Or, this idiot ran himself into a dead end, so... uh We'll catch him and kill him. Well, not kill him, but you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, well, before we fight... Alright. I gave you a chance. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to have the uh, infantry charge over the top of this hill here. Archers are going to set up right on top of it. Cavalry start coming around this way. And we're going to have you hit them on the flank. And I'm just going to kind of watch this one play out. I'm not going to actually get involved here. I don't think I'll need to. There's uh, some of our desert infantry skirmishing a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure I told them to charge. I guess they like to hang back and get rid of their javelins first. Sorry, archers, let me get out of your way. Apparently they have nothing left to shoot at. Oh. Yes, they do. Uh, hopefully my guys can deal with the one that got past. Because he's going straight for our archers. They thought they were being clever. Come on, get rid of these clowns. There we go. Okay. And there's a the victory. Okay. Uh, you can go free. Hopefully, nine relation is enough to uh, maybe persuade you to at least talk about coming over to our side. Um, we might get another five next time he sees us as well. And again, I don't have room for those prisoners. 
as much as it pains me to let them go. And I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Uh, I'm going to do my best to actually get some recruiting and, you know, building up of forces done between episodes again here. Uh, if there's no big battles, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. But I want to build up our garrison in Veluca. Um, that's my prim primary concern. And then once I've gotten that to a sufficient size, I may start helping out the other lords with their garrisons. I shouldn't have to do that, but in this case, I probably will have to, uh, at least until we can end all these wars one way or another. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kingdom for Mountain Blade Warband with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.